So put me back in the pool. And if we ever get white, we have a new secret weapon. All right, we have black. There's children around. I didn't say anything bad. What are you guys? You guys are making me go crazy. I, this is this is a relaxed stream. We got a big tournament coming up. Ah, nice and relaxed. Just like a little elephant gambit to calm me down. Wait, but I got to try hard. Because I don't want to go into my tournament below 2,400. Even though my tournament is a risk tournament. So I have to play the elephant gambit. Insane line. Wait, highly focused. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet in the chat. I'm about to sacrifice an entire rook. This is one of the most dubious gambits in the history of life. Because they can go take an entire rook. But in the meantime, I will develop all of my pieces, castle quickly, and get ready to play knight to d4. And let's see what a really strong opponent is actually going to be able to do against this. This is my first game of the day. I need my, I haven't warmed up my tactics. We didn't even do a tactic today, but will we be able to win a game? Look, I'm down a rook. Literally everything developed though. Okay. So this is all theory. Now this is a major threat. So white has to be careful here. I think D3 is playable. D3, knight D4, and the queen needs to stay in connection with this because there's also some tactics going on on the F2 square. So let's see how they deal with it. There's, wow, doesn't worry about this at all. He was worried about this. I go here. And I guess his idea is that he's going here, but I should be getting like everything back and more. Cause now I take this rook I've gotten all the stuff back, but this knight is trapped, and I'm more developed. And your king is in a weird spot, and I'm gonna castle, and my pawn structure is better. And I have more support from my chat than theirs. Wait! Incredible. Now. Yo, it's just, it just doesn't work. Wait, why doesn't it work? Wait, 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 why doesn't it work? If he has to take this, uh, maybe it doesn't do anything. Maybe it just actually doesn't do anything. All right, we should probably be civil here. He can probably just take my knight. Why am I still looking at this? I need to move on. I can't, I'm mesmerized. I'm, I've, I'm, I'm frozen. I'm just actually just frozen. I, I froze up there for a second. I didn't know what the, I just, I got so excited about certain possibilities. My knight might get lost, but we'll have to take back their guy and just play. We'll just play some position where our pawn structure is better. I was a frozen Rosen, which sounds a lot better than a frozen Schrantz. A solid Schrantz? No. A... What would it be? Uh, how do I make this work? <laughs> Wait, if I was here, I could take it. All right, let's take this, go back, and then kind of make the the silly threat. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's try to open it up. I'm not unhappy if he comes out here and my bishops both get to very good diagonals. So I'd be very happy with this active position. Um... Let's try to, I don't know. I don't know where the best square is anymore. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the right diagonal though. There's gonna be some tactic here. I'm not sure if I ever actually get to rescue my knight. I'm trying to imagine what a knight rescue would actually look like. But maybe I don't need to rescue it. It's just there for for future. It's just there for some time when the times get tough. Doesn't make much sense. Maybe if I take this pawn, maybe then I escape. I bet I rescue my knight. I think my knight is just going to come back into the game. Yeah, he has to stay there. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. 
Ah, uh, okay, wait, he's, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Ah, uh, he is here. Wait. Oh, no, I don't have it. Ah! All right, whatever. We'll just, we'll settle for this. And this. <laughs> All right, I'm so focused on winning this game. I'm a highly focused man. We're gonna win this. Very easily. The opponent doesn't think I have the technique. I guess he's seen me play before. I anticipated that the Rook would want to be on that diagonal. All of his stuff is hanging. I guess I'd push him away. Yo! What are these great gambits? And actually, this was a really interesting one. Now watch this computer evaluation. <laughs> this is the elephant gambit. And it's actually rare, but queen to e2 is the main line. This is the best way for the opponents to continue. Only about 18% of opponents will even find it. And if you just want to play a pawn down, but with some activity, you can play one of these two moves. I think maybe bishop e6 is like slightly preferred. And then your queen's gonna get attacked, you're gonna move away. Like you can still play a game where you just play for activity, you try to castle queenside, whatever. But there's this line that is plus three for white, <laughs> but I think is very hard for opponents in practice to play. And you'll see that white actually scores very well, but maybe people are messing it up with black or maybe it's just winning for white, who really knows? You go here, you let him take your rook and you get castled immediately. And you're threatening if you hit X to play knight d4 and just win this game on the spot. This is a huge threat that needs to be dealt with. And knight to c3, only move, but a very logical developing move. You move away. This is still a threat. So what I've always faced in the past is uh, pawn to d3, after which you can go here and there's some other mistakes that white makes. You have to go to d2. You cannot go here because there's also some threats that my opponent noticed. And here knight to b3 is super strong, going after the rook, threatening this mate. And if you can get all the material back, you're way ahead in development, so life should be very good. Well, in this game, what did my opponent do? They played f3 and now they're already in a lot of trouble. They did not stop the threat of knight to d4. Now I'm able to take this pawn. And then I was really trying to look for some amazing ways of getting this done. Now I took the rook right away, which is actually wrong, which is a very big surprise to me. Ah, but the opponent could have escaped now. It's all about these knights and whether or not they can escape. Ah, and even if I try here, rook to e1, Somehow, does this knight even escape? Maybe it doesn't, but somehow, okay, this obviously wouldn't have been the best way for me to continue. Maybe it's not so easy for me to go get this knight now, and my knight is trapped. Wow, okay. So I need to trade and then take the rook. But I instead took right away. My opponent went here, and I wasted a lot of time looking at this move. Because if they take with the queen, which is what I was kind of hoping for, I knew I had at least this move and I was trying to set up, you know, some sort of ways of like winning. I'm looking for checkmates because I have this square covered. But the problem is if I take here, they can just take it back. And I didn't have anything clear. Like I can take this, but I thought bishop to e2. And I was just like, well, nothing really here. I'm like, I don't know. I can attack this, but that just helps them. Uh, so I eventually went in for this, got castled. And now I have all my material back. I'm definitely going to be able to get their knight back. And it's not actually that easy for them to get mine. So I just took this rook and I'm on this square. So I'm trying to find some sort of tactic that will let me win this guy. Uh, we're trying to break through over here and we're just winning. <laughs> we're actually just winning. Putting my bishop on this diagonal was a good idea. Uh, I just want to see if I missed any like really, really big obvious things. I'm trying to set up a position. In my head, I'm thinking like with this knight here, I'm almost threatening to like take and play for some sort of checkmate if I can get my rook to this file. Like I'm looking for all these like kinds of patterns. And eventually he was able to get my bishop, but not really. 
because then I was able to win this night. And then it should just have been pretty clean from there. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. It is a very dubious gambit. Play at your own risk, but if you liked it, make sure you subscribe.